All right, sixth graders, lesson 72, a fractions chart and multiplying three fractions. Uh, we've learned three steps when working with fractions and mixed numbers. First, uh, if you remember, we write it in the correct shape. Second, we do the operations. So math, uh, that would be division, multiplication, subtraction, or addition. And finally, we simplify the answer to whatever we need it to be. Here you see a fractions chart that reminds you whether you need to be doing um, addition or subtraction or multiplication division. The shape, write them with common denominators. Here just write them in the fraction form, meaning uh, improper fractions. We don't want any mixed numbers. You operate here, you add or subtract, and here you can divide or and when multiplying, we cancel first, and then so we look for diagonal ones like we've done in the past. And finally, we reduce the fractions. So those are the three things that we need to do. So let's take a look at the example here. We have two-thirds times one and three-fifths times three-fourths. To do this type of problem, we need to get them all in the correct shape. So this will remain two-thirds. This is going to five times one is five, plus one is eight, so that'll be eight-fifths. And we can keep this three-fourths. There's no division in here, so we don't have to do any reciprocals. Now, again, we, we look diagonally to reduce. Now, what's interesting with three of them is you can look diagonally far away from each other. So here, this three will cancel out this three, and they'll both become a one. And now here I've got some options. I see I got a 2 and a 4, or I could do a 4 and an 8. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the uh, 8 and the 4, since those are bigger numbers. And I know that will reduce to 1 half. And then I'd look, uh, I can even in the future, I could reduce these again if I had to. But I don't see any to do here. So I'm going to do 2 times 2 is 4, times 1 is equals 4, and 1 times 5 times 1 will be 5, so the answer here is 4 fifths. Okay, pretty straightforward in today's lesson. We just added a uh, third fraction here, and we're still reducing the same way by looking diagonally at different ones, except now we can look far away from each other. All right. That's it. You can get started on your practice set.